Hello and good morning, Shafter High School, and welcome back to another great episode of HQ TV, Shafter High School's No Source. My name is Isaac Correa. And I'm Frenchie Reese. Today is November 8th, and here's what's going on in our general community. Students, if you guys are interested in scholarships, make sure you guys stop by the Career Center because there's a lot of scholarships available. Deadlines are approaching, so if you guys are planning to apply for scholarships, make sure you guys get them done as soon as possible. Also, the Shafter High Cash for College Night is tomorrow, um, and November 8th, from November 8th from 3 to 7, you will learn about the free applications from the Federal Student Aid and the DREAM Act application. Make sure to invite your parents. And it's November 9th, right? November 9th. November 9th. Yeah, never, yeah. My apologies for that. Uh, at least those, there will be a meeting on Wednesday during lunch in room 410. Lunch will be provided for you guys. And then Art Club will be having their first meeting tomorrow at lunchtime in Ms. Davis's room 801, which is in the art room. <laughs> and there will be an eSports meeting tomorrow during lunch in Mr. Perucci's room in room 1205. Also, our Pride team will be hosting a donation drive over the next two weeks for items to go into our pi Pride pantry. There are boxes all around town and we will be hosting a drive through event on November 16th to drop off the items at the school. Teachers have received a box for a Pride pantry donation that is meant for second period students. We are going to be having a friendly competition in hopes to bring up more items, the period class that brings the most items. And by November 16th, we'll win a class prize. After Wednesday, November 10th, which is this Wednesday, the school Wi-Fi, also known as the BYOD network, will no longer be available per for personal devices. All Strafter Hide issued equipment, including Chromebooks, Surface Pros, laptops, etc., will continue to connect and work with our Wi-Fi networks. Please let your counselor know if you have any concerns or problems after the BYOD network is disabled for personal use on the 10th. Also, freshmen, please turn in your TRIO application to the Career Center ASAP so you can be entered into a raffle to, for $100. The deadline is Wednesday, November 17th. All junior girls who are interested in being a part of the Distinguished Young Women's Program for the Class of 2023 will have an informational meeting on Wednesday, November 17th in the ASB room during lunch. The program directors will be there to answer any questions you guys might have and all about the year's program of the class of 2023 and the scholarships available. Also, don't forget about tutoring, guys. It is available in the library from 3 to 7 p.m., Monday through Thursday, but we don't have school on Thursday, so it's only going to be Monday, um, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Feel free to stop by for any reason if you need help. Now let's send it over to Javier with the weather. Hello, my name is Javier Esparza, and I'm going to say the four-day forecast. Right now, it is 60 degrees outside, and the high is going to be 66 at 2 p.m. Tomorrow is going to be a high of 69 and a low of 54. Wednesday is going to be a high of 68 and a low of 51. Then on Thursday, it's going to be a high of 69 and a low of 69. I'm pretty sure that's not right, but so it's actually 54. Hopefully you guys had a good rest sleep because yesterday it was time change and pretty much everyone gained an hour of sleep, hopefully. Now let's just head it back to the main show. A senior, those, for, those of you who have not created the FSA ID, make sure to go to the Career Center ASAP before school, during lunch, or after school to get that done because it is very important. The November scholarships are now available. If you guys are interested in applying, stop by the Career Center to go pick them up. Also, Amazon is offering some part-time job opportunities. For, for more information, go see Ms. Dela Cruz at the Career Center. And let's send it over to sports with Eddie. Hello and good morning, Shafter High. My name is Eddie Perez, and here's the latest in Shafter High sports. The Shafter, um, the Shafter Generals beat Riverdale 35-28. to 28. Woo! Let's go! Nice! That's sweet. Meaning they will continue in the playoffs and... This Friday, they will be facing up against this school called Boron, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, Boron, <laughs> uh, this week. Uh, now, here's some stats from last week's game. Uh, I don't have a lot, so just, it'll be quick. Tyson went, Tyson Dozier, I think? Tyson, yeah. He went for 93 yards and scored a touchdown, and Alex Aguirre, Ag Aguirre, Aguirre, yeah, thank you, went 10 yards and also scored a touchdown. Uh, softball has begun preseason workouts every Tuesday and Thursday from 3.30 to 5.30. If you are not in a winter sport currently, it is highly recommended you join in on the workouts. If you have any questions, please see Coach Durant in room 303 or in Coach Garcia's room in room 403. Now let's send it back to the main show. Uh, senior makeup pictures will be tomorrow, so if you guys have not taken your pictures, make sure you guys come ready. 
Also, Veterans Day is November 11th, so there will be no school. And also, there is no school on the 12th, which is Friday, so. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, Jenna's, have a great day and tune in tomorrow for another great episode of HQ TV. Chapter High School's News Source.